My name is Scott Campo with Bentley's Technical Support Team. Do you want an efficient way of comparing the pump head and efficiency curves stored in a model with SCADA data? The Pump Performance Study feature introduced with WaterGems Connect Edition Update 2 can help with that. Pump performance studies can help you identify which pumps may be running inefficiently and let you identify areas of concern. After completing the pump performance study, you will see tabular and graphical results. You can also include the system head curve results with this information. To access this tool, right-click on the pump and then choose Performance Study. After starting the pump performance study, you'll identify the source of the data imported through a SCADA signal. Note that only historical data is going to be supported. Here we can access this by clicking the ellipsis button next to one of our signals, which opens up a SCADA signals dialog. By right-clicking on the name of the SCADA signal, you can edit the source and to identify the, the location is going to be correct. The required fields for a pump performance study are the pump flow and the suction or discharge pressure or the level of the tanks that, that are nearby. Here we see the flow signal. The data source for this model is going to be using the pressure on the suction and discharge side, but if you click this pull down menu you'll see that level is available as well, so you can choose your tank levels. In addition, you can also calculate the efficiency for the pump. If you click the Compute Efficiency button, you can then choose the appropriate signal for, for the pump power. By clicking Next, you're going to validate the study. This will include the time period for which the data is imported. You have options of either picking the start and end times, or by picking the start time and then the number of days ahead or behind. Here we're choosing a start time and then an end time as well. This shows the data that's retrieved from the SCADA signals and it's displayed here in this table. This includes the pressure information, the power output, and the efficiency that's coming from the SCADA signals. Now we'll click Finish and you'll see a graph showing the pump curve and the pump efficiency as well as point data from the SCADA data. The pump head curve is displayed in red. The red points represent the flow and calculated head values from the SCADA source. We're also plotting efficiency here, which you see here in blue. If you hover your mouse over one of the point data, you'll see the data that's coming from your SCADA information. It's also possible to include system head curves with this. In order to do this, click the Include System Head Curves box. Once you do that, you can choose this ellipsis button, which will open up a System Head Curves Time dialog. We'll go ahead and choose the initial time step, which is zero hours. After clicking OK, the System Head Curve is then added to the graph as well. Information on pump performance studies and much more can be found in the Hydraulics and Hydrology section of Bentley Communities. Thank you for your time. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.